Oh, looks like we made a mistake. We brought the wrong car. As you can see, it's a, a patrol. Toyota people are allowed to own patrols as well. I was just going to give you a quick rundown on what we got it for, why we got it, plans with it. Anyway, at the moment, what I've been told, it's stock lift, obviously two-tone colour. We're going to strip the whole car back, take windows, everything out, do a full, full respray on it. It is a TB42, runs on gas and petrol at the moment. I'm going to pull the gas out and just get it running good on petrol. EFI, contemplating a good turbo kit for it, get a bit of power out of it, full exhaust system. I might pull the head off, do a top end rebuild just so we can make sure the top end's good. I've heard the bottom ends in them are pretty good. The main reason we brought it, it has reduction gears in it. So I believe the 85% reduction gears, which for patrols is very, very good because obviously they can't crawl very well. And then bull bars coming off, make a new bull bar, wrap the whole car in bar work, sliders, rear, rear sliders, rear bar, Absolutely everything inside the car is pretty clean. Carpets are pretty clean. Has factory sway bar disconnects. So I can actually disconnect the sway bars inside the cab, which is easy. There's a lot of, lot of things I'm thinking about doing. Anyone that has a patrol, any GQs, any suggestions on what we should do would be great. I would like to know what people think. What are the common problems that I should be worried about? If I think of anything else, I'll let you know what else I've got in plan, but yeah, I've got got good ideas. It's just gonna sit for a little bit whilst we build it, get through it all. I think first thing's gonna be sort of stripping it, getting it ready for paint, and then start doing the motor work to it, play around with it, maybe even get it registered. So then it's registered before I go do anything wild to it. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty much just a bush basher for now, which is gonna be good fun. But uh, petrol, new to that in the full driving world, but the reduction gears i just used them when i drove it out here and yeah she crawls pretty good crawls pretty well Cra crawls like what the cruisers do yeah any recommendations let me know and fill me in because i am now a man of patrols <laughs> exciting so what's your first step alan peeling stickers off um, oh you don't want to kiss my sticker no i don't want to kiss my sticker i guess we're doing build episodes now eh? because this is going to be a pretty lengthy one. So anyway, we're pulling these off. It's had a quarter chop, I've worked out. I might neaten it up a bit, pull the bull bar off, start sort of gutting it and getting it back, maybe even start sanding it. So we've already washed it twice, ripped some of the stickers off, the old stickers. We've rolled it back into the garage. What we're going to do now is take the bull bar, snorkel off, um, come around to the rear. We're going to take these little rear bar sections off, start sanding it, getting it ready and prepped, start the build. I mean, we've had it for about eight hours and we're already starting to pull it apart. So we'll keep going through this and get this bull bar off. Shouldn't be too hard. It's four bolts. The good thing with patrols that I've liked the look of this bit here is literally like 50 mil past which is perfect and the front chassis doesn't even extend past the grill with the 80 series these are just things that you learn along the way and people can pick the like the looks of what they had in order for me to build the bull bar and the rear bar on the 80 i actually had to have them out a certain length because the chassis came out so far that was sort of what i had to work to so they sort of look like they stick off where with patrols, you can get things really snug, like real close to the body, rather than having it hang out. Personal preference, it's just something everyone's got to look at. But I actually like the look of things being snug to the car, so I'm starting to fall in love with the car already. Just trying to disconnect this gas tank while I'm down here. Just behind the tow bar, there's a shut-off switch. Right there. I'll shut that off so nothing comes out of the tank when I disconnect it, turn the car on put it in gas, let it run until it dies, so that way it shuts, it gets rid of all the gas in the hoses and the lines, and then we should be able to drop that out and get rid of that. Snorkel removal, I ripped off um, our intake piping, as you can see, is all pretty <laughs> Yuck. yucky. Battery tray, secondary battery tray, which gives me a hell of a lot of space here for a nice looking turbo. And then the snorkel is now off. That is the biggest That will be snorkel. going and I'll be making my own. I'm going to try and make 
everything I can make on this car, I'm going to try and make myself. So stay There'll tuned. There'll be a yeah. lot of videos. Yeah, a lot. Bull bar, scrub bar, sliders, rebar, rebar yes. snorkel. We'll see what we can do. We'll see how well my skill level goes. Bean. Yep. We dropped the gas tank out, which is good. There's no more gas in it. I just got to put a few things back together in the motor so I can um, turn it on and drive it again because it should all be on petrol now. Get it out of here and start. Yes, 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 yes. So we're just testing the uh, stock flex on it and that's maximum on the front. So at the moment, center of hub, uh, 7, 705. Um, and then the rear, I don't even know if it's hitting bump yet. Let's have a look. Nowhere near bump. What I'll do is I'll bring it down and I'll put the front up so I can see how the reflexes. And then, yeah, this is well away. So 705 and uh, 470 to center. Just getting stock measurements so once we finish it all, we can look and see what it's um see what it's like see the differences get out of there brum brum but now we've got the rear fully flexed up like i said just testing everything to compare it to it when i'm done uh eight eight ten and then we're pretty far off bump stuff on the other side pull these down now and we're ready to start doing other things to it start sanding and Pull a couple more things off it, get it ready for some paint. <laughs> nice short one today as we didn't have too much time to get things done. But if you want to follow along with the GQ build, go subscribe. Me and Alan are pretty much patrol noobs, so if you guys have any tips or tricks, post them below. We have been trying to get a video out a week, so if there's anything you want to see us build or drive or anything like that, let us know and we will see you in the next one.